Good morning guys, welcome to the shop. Uh, we're working on paint uh, lately here. Um, I'm sanding down this wing. I ended up with a lot of orange peel and a lot of huge curtains and runs on it. Um, I didn't have my gun set up right and it's been 10 years since I painted anything. So um, biggest problem I think I had was that I uh, kind of tried to cheap out if you want to call it that and uh, not run a, a regulator at the gun like I typically did. Um, I have one on the compressor and water trap regulator and so I thought I could set it there but uh, I was getting too much pressure drop across the hose and uh, ended up way too low a pressure on the gun and then getting all kinds of problems so I painted uh, this and I shouldn't have really. Um, so I'm fixing that and I've already fixed the, uh, had some trouble with the uh, vertical stabilizer which you see here. And I don't know how good the paint will show up, but uh, it turned out really nice. Um, just a, a tiny bit of orange peel on it, uh, but completely acceptable for me. Um, doesn't look a whole lot worse than typical automotive stuff, which these days uh, you end up with orange peel no matter what you do. Unless you're doing a custom clear and uh, base and clear, you're gonna get a little bit of orange peel. But uh, the stuff I had on that, on that wing was just terrible. So working on that, hopefully I'll get that back in the booth today. Um, I'm gonna sand the whole thing down and uh, reprime it. Um, I think I'm gonna prime the whole thing and then uh, repaint it. But uh, ended up buying a new gun, which don't know what to think about it yet. I used it on that, uh, on the uh, vertical stabilizer yesterday. Here it is, it's a, it's a Harbor Freight gun. It's a $200, 220 now, you can get it on sale. Um, I got this for a little bit less than that, but not much. It is the uh, Black Widow HTE version. They also make this in an LV, uh, low pressure, high volume uh, gun. This is the uh, LTE, or the HTE. Um, I didn't think the, uh, the air adjust worked quite right. Um, I'd get... I'd get back pressure on just a small movement there. I'd get back pressure here, which was making it act all funny, but I, I got it where I could run the, the pressure that I wanted. I think I was running about 25 or 30, I forget now. And uh, so it worked out okay. Um, not sure what to think about it. I kind of went against my own rule of uh, buying cheap tools, and not that this is cheap, but I probably just should have. I had a Devilbus gun, and I don't know what I did with it. Um, that I used 10 years ago, I think. And, uh, and there's the, the gun that I have been using and uh, was having trouble with, but I've, I still use that for primer yesterday and that it's working good. I think it was just also suffering from air pressure, so uh, too low pressure. That's what we're working on. So more sanding and hopefully uh, get back in the paint booth. There's the paint booth over there, one fan with a filter on it, and uh, that's a carport thing from Menards. 10 by 20 so everything should fit in there just fine the wing fit in there good um, we had a big storm here last night and so it knocked over my light i got to clean up in here and knocked over a light and uh, other than that see you next time